I am currently working in a 3D studio when I did two Hollywood blockbuster and last year I did this. What do they have in common? Mm, a shit amount of free takes and scene that got deleted. Essentially you do everything you can to present an improved version of your work until someone with more skills, your experiences or just talent than you will tell you why it's not good enough yet. This can continue until you achieve your perfect version or when there is not enough time for you. And this is the quintessence of perfectionism. It's part of the job you can say, and it's true, but it became a problem when you involve yourself too much or when you bring this mindset into your personal project. So let me share with you my own way of dealing with this right after the intro. So, I heard you want to be a 3D artist, but it requires money for school, software and skills? Now nah, let me find you an alternative. Art can be a roller coaster. One day you have so much ideas and inspiration that you don't know what to do about it. And the other day you just throw them away in the pit of forgotten dreams, missing skills, money, just motivation. We're all different and I can't even comprehend what you're going through. So instead of giving you a rigid methodology of things to do and not do, let me give you tips and tricks for my brain that work for me and maybe you will be able to adapt them in your own life. Let's do that in two parts. First, what are the problems exactly? I personally call it artist blues. It regroup perfectionism, the not good enough mentality, the lack of motivation, even the fear of judgment. Don't get me wrong, it happened to everyone, I think. Not only artists. But concerning artists, you are involving yourself a lot in the creation process. Making a failure is something that you take directly toward yourself. Social media intensifies this. Seeing other artists' stunning work can fuel inspiration first, for sure but also self-doubt about your own capabilities. And AI art raises existential question about the role of humans in the future. Is it still useful to learn how to draw? It's almost comparable to the impact of photography in the 19th century, which challenged traditional art form and raised questions about the future role of artists. All this can trigger the artist blues, but exactly what are my solutions about that? In the previous video about Unreal Engine, I talked to you about this project that didn't meet my first expectation. It was a 3D challenge and I wanted to be in the top 100. It didn't happen and I got mad about it. I thought that the work was for nothing. So here is my first tips to trick my brain. I try to divide big tasks in as much small task as I can to collect as many wins as possible. Let me explain. It's only after some sleep that I realize how much win I made with this project. First I got motivated enough to start it and that's already an amazing win, if I can say so. I also got an idea that I liked. I had the final version in time, even if I thought I could do a lot more about it. And most of all, I did it in a software that I didn't know at all. And that became my main software for personal project and totally changed my way of working. It's really my trick to overcome perfectionism. It's to divide it as much as I can because it feels more rewarding to accumulate the wins along the way. I even have a task planner, like a knowledge tool, to gamify my life and have a written proof of all these wins. But if I start talking about that, it will be one hour long video. A notion I'm struggling with though is adaptability. I went in a challenge with this really high expectation of finishing in top 100, whatever happened, like whatever life threw in my way. So it's an expectation that I thought was stale until the end of the challenge. But expectation and circumstances change. I had overtime at work, I got really sick. Being able to adapt to this change make the challenge a lot less stressful, like reducing the scope of a project changing tools, teaming up with other, anything to keep moving forwards. Like the guy playing ping pong with Nichak who said, Bruce by the way, be water my friend. When I was at school, I always heard, don't be a printer. 
because I was copying picture and sometimes art from other people just for fun. And I always got frustrated by it because for me, I don't understand how life work around me if I don't copy it. Or I don't understand how can I do something if I don't study the master that did it before me. For me, as long as it is not commercial, there is no rule. Copying technique, taking long break, anything that feels growth is fair game. Anything that can develop your art and make you slightly different from the other fella that have years of practices and skill that you may never have. I also don't feel bad taking weeks off anything artistic. I'm kind of cycling art intake in my brain. I feel like creativity fluctuating cycle. A week might pass where I don't create at all, but when I'm getting back at it, it feels like I'm starving for a new project. Also, all that is just a probability question, right? If you want to achieve more, growing your portfolio, growing your skills, you will have to do more things, taking more risk, and you will have more wins, that's for sure, but that comes with a high failure rate as well. To failing up, analyze what went wrong and adjust depending on that. When you start again, don't do the same thing, just change something. You need a strategy, willpower, I don't think it's enough. To go back on my first example in studio, receiving retakes that modify over and over your artwork can be seen as a failure to provide a decent art, right? But I personally see it as a way to grow, to nourish my artist brain with comments that I receive on work. Because each of your projects, whether they are meticulously crafted, barely planned or left unfinished, should be seen as small yet significant step in your lifelong journey toward greater mastery. The feel the hope that one day neither your technique nor your motivation will be barrier to your creative expression.